<laughs> hey everybody, this is Joyce Chow for MBN and News Video. Well, we're here with Richard Doyle, who is, oh, you've got to hear that one. He's the narrator here for the pageant of the master. That's true. And, oh wait, I mean, i got to let you talk, okay? See, when you're watching the pageant of the master, this is that calming, deep, reassuring voice. The spirit guy. You are. You're going to tell us all the stories behind all of the pictures. I get to tell all the stories that... Dan Julie writes about the pageant. It's great fun. So I'm in the broadcast booth of the pageant, kind of the heart center, the heartbeat of the pageant. And uh, up there with Dee, she tells me when to talk. Dan tells me what to say. I'm kind of a mouthpiece. <laughs> and a very good mouthpiece he is. As long as I can remember the pageant, I have a really good voice. How long have you been doing Actually, I, I only started a couple of years ago. So, uh, before we skip, skip on it, well, we're all announcers, you know, we go to the same school. That's not the truth. I really am a voice actor, so you know, I come from the theater, so Southwest Repertory is my mom. So, Dean knew of me from the theater, so when uh, their previous narrator, Skip Kano, when he retired, after many years, uh, I sort of stepped in to take over, and it's been really a lot of fun. That's why you have that deep, booming voice. Well, I'm used to having to fill a theater auditorium that's true. Here, I just have to speak to the microphone. But well, I'm a voice talent, too. I mean, I do a lot of voice things. You know, I've been selling things on television forever. You know? But it's... Uh, it's uh, been very, very good to me, as they say, in, in the uh, profession. But it has uh, been a great run. I've done a lot of scenes, a lot of uh, a lot of animation. And so uh, I've been a voice actor for about 30 years. But this is the first time I've ever done a live show narration. Wait a minute, this is the first time? Well, I mean, this is the first thing I've done. Uh, oh, okay. the, the, pageant, the pageant is the first. Uh, job like this in the past. Uh, I mean, I've done some live uh, narrations for uh, award shows and things like that for television, but they're tape delay, so you get to go in and shoot it afterwards. This is live. This is really, really live. You don't want to make it a mistake. We hear some of it. It's like through the years, we've heard some comedy. It's a smile when it comes to the Yeah, it's okay. When it comes through. Let me ask you, this year, the big picture, what do you have to look forward to? Oh. It's a great program. If you haven't seen it in the last, well, if you haven't seen the pageant in the last couple of years, you owe it to yourself to come and see it because it's a wonderful program, multimedia. We have a great sound system, uh, a 28-piece orchestra that has an original score every year, and we have a great projection system. So it's like being at the movies, even when we're not on the movie theme. But this year, it's art and motion picture. So you see everything from the silence on up to modern motion picture making that incorporates art into the storylines of the films. So, a lot of very exciting stuff. And very exciting uh, music. A lot of it coming out of movie themes. You will recognize. You'll be tapping your feet to all manner of things. Okay, this is your vocal preview, your audio preview. <laughs> it's been a long time. That's right. I'm just curious because you have this magnificent voice. That's why he's a narrator. What do you do to help your voice well, uh, in all honesty, I, I had this voice since I was about 14 years old. My voice changed, you know. It was hard because I was a young child actor. I started when I was just a real little kid, about four or five. So when you have a lower voice than your dad, it can be a problem. <laughs> things like that. But I had this voice, so it kind of it's a Doyle trait. So my father had it. My brother was also an actor. He kind of had it too. But it, you you train it a little bit when you're going to be a narrator to be able to use it to tell stories. I mean, basically that's kind of what my job is. I'm a storyteller. So you love to tell stories. Voice acting. How is storytelling different than other voice? Want to call it other voice jobs? Well, actually, being an actor at all, it's kind of our storytelling. Even when you're in a play, a character in a play, you have your little bit of the story to tell. The difference that a narrator has is that a narrator tells the whole story. So he is like a book reader. You get a, a, a book on tape, he tells the whole story from beginning to end.
that. And I love that because it's kind of a control. So I get to control the whole storytelling, which is a lot of fun. So you have all the emotion of the story, all the humor of the story, and you get to hit all the points. It's fun. So if we're going to tell our audience out here to come and visit here for the pageant of the Masters of the from the show, how would you tell How would you invite them? In a world where movies reign supreme in the performing arts, a pageant is going to give you a real close view of how movies were made without sound and with sound using the arts. Come and see it. Don't miss it. And we're here at in Laguna Beach for the Pageant of the Masters. Yes. And you've asked the arts with Richard Doyle. The big picture. Come see it. Thank you.